Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark Spencer. With me today in the studio is our old friend Steve Martin. How are you? Good. Good. Right. Excited. Excited about what? Um, Final Cut. Okay. Anything in particular? Color grading. Oh. Yeah, we want to uh, show some really cool keyboard shortcuts for working really fast in the color board. So color correcting with keyboard shortcuts. Color correcting with keyboard shortcuts. Let's an, see. An apt name for this well, let's episode. Let's dive okay. right in. We'll okay. Cut so, the chit chat. Well, so here we are. I have a a project that I've been working on, and uh, basically, I, my uh, editor and myself went to Catalina and did some scuba diving, and we shot a bunch of underwater stuff with GoPro camera, and we have a lot of footage that was properly color balanced because we are shooting towards the surface, and then other shots that were not so uh, properly color balanced to look too green or whatnot because we didn't use a red filter on the GoPro. Normally you'd want to use a red filter to, fi right, to filter out a lot of the blue wavelengths, okay, so see. it makes things more I neutral. See. But I didn't, they, <laughs> they wanted you to take apart the GoPro, you know, literally take off the, the cover to put the red filter in. Wow. Uh, that, that would uh, kind of break the integrity of the housing, and yeah, I didn't really want yeah. to, so Not I said, you know what? I'll, call, I'll fix it in post, okay. which is really what this episode is ah, about. Okay. But now I've got a lot of shots that, that, that don't look right. They don't. They look too blue or whatnot. And I don't want to go and have to do everything with a mouse. I want to do everything with keyboard shortcuts. And you can. And you can. So let's look at that. First thing is you, you, you want to go up to uh, Final Cut Pro commands, and you want to choose customize. So are you going to customize? I'm going to fully customize. Okay. Now before you start customizing, uh, what you're going to want to do is duplicate the set. You're going to create a custom yeah. set. You could use a default, but I always say, why not make a, a custom set geared around what you want to do. So you can actually mess the default setup because I thought it would force you to make a new one. It does. There's okay. a safety net built okay. in. I just this is kind of a more of a force of habit. I'll, yeah, du I'll duplicate, do. it, duplicate it, it and I'll call it. this uh, color board or color grading, whatever you want to call it. It's a it's a set of commands. Okay. okay? So I'm going to click OK. So now I could go ahead and change at will and. It's not going to change my default set. I can always get back to my default set by just selecting yeah. it from the menu. Okay, so there's my color board. So first thing is, let's find out what kind of commands are built into Final Cut Pro for just color grading. And you'll be surprised there are quite a few. So in the blinking search cursor field, I'm going to type in color. And then all the commands for color will show appear right and it will show up on this list. So there are there, wow. there's actually more commands than you'll probably ever want to use it. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to go through some of my favorite ones, okay? okay? Like this one here, apply color correction from previous edit, apply color correction from three edits back, apply color correction from two, two edits, edits back. back. We'll, okay. we'll cover that in a moment. There's some other ones down here. Some of them already have default keyboard assignments already assigned. So yeah. those are the ones that are default assignments. So I'm not going to really mess with those. But what I want to do is, is a, a Here's the key. Whenever you're creating a, a keyboard set, it's always good to come up with some sort of um, uh, like logic. Logic, logic. Yes, uh -huh. logic behind them. Okay. Um, you don't want to be just kind of random and arbitrary yeah. about it. So and, never remember. And you'll never remember. Them. Exactly. Yeah. And so one of the ways that you can figure that out is looking up here along the top. These all are the modifier keys there. Yeah, these are all mod this tells you what's what's assigned to what modifiers. Okay, so like for example, um, if you click the command key, that's saying the, those are all the uh, keyboard commands that are assigned using the command set or command modifier. Pretty colors. Yeah, it is. So like I can go, well, command, there's a lot of keyboards assigned to command. There's a lot of them. All the gray ones are all, not assigned. Yeah, right? not assigned. The gray okay. ones are not assigned. What about shift? Well, I got, well, there's a few, a lot of gray ones I could use, but mm, what about option? Uh, what I found is if I use, if I click control and option, I get the most amount. So that's of holding empty. down both control, the option and control option keys. Option control. Yeah. So, all all these are available. All of them. And so Sweet. that so for me, okay. I'm just gonna in my mind, I'll just train myself to know that option control, whatever the modifier key will always be my my keyboard. That's my little thing I'm gonna do. And okay. you can do that not just for color correction, but for anything you have right. to modify that's exactly. your special option control is mine. Is mine, yes. Okay. Option control. So I'm gonna control the control the features of the of the app using these two keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, I'm going to use some logic. So in this case, apply color correction previous edit. I'm going to drag this out and assign that to the one key. So that's one edit back. Oh, you okay? just drag it right on yeah, the key. Yeah, right, right on the key. I've never done it that way before. Apply oh. color correction from two edits back. Two key. Apply color correction from three edits back. See, there's a logic to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So control option three will apply the grade three edits back. Okay. Right? So then I'm going to scroll down here and see what other uh, 
uh, useful ones um, that, uh, let's see. Okay, there's one. Reset, the color board, reset selected puck. Uh, color board, select next puck. There's all, this is a really one, reset all pucks. Uh -huh. You wanna reset everything on the yeah. code, but that's a really handy. So what I'll do is I'll assign that to the R key for reset. So control, control option control. R uh -huh. would reset, reset. Okay. right. And then there's one other one in here that's really, um, uh, really, it's called um, disable color board, where is it, toggle color correction on and off. So I think that's it. Um, this will disable all corrections on the selected clip. So it'd be that's like, go, that's really great. such an important yeah. command. Yeah, I use that in seven all the time to type. Yeah, you want to be able to quickly get a before and after. Yes. Very, yes. very important. Because so, your eyes get used to the correction, you don't even realize it's corrected anymore. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that, and I've assigned, I like to assign this to letter G for grade. Control, okay. option G. We'll talk about on or off. Control okay. option R resets, and then there's one, two other things. So I can go on all day, but you can see there's a logic behind me choosing yes. these keys. Yes. yes. All right, so now all I need to do is save. So I've saved the, the set, and we'll go ahead and close the editor here. And let's go ahead and do some color grading. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start with this interview. And okay. I'm gonna hit a, a keyboard known shortcut to bring up the color board, of course, command six. I don't need to remap that, because I exists. know it is. It, it exists, exists. all right. Command six to so what up. I'm gonna do is go to exposure, and I'm gonna just bring down the shadows a little. I'm gonna crush the shadows, make it a little bit more like, a um, little bit more darker on that side of his and face. You, you could do what you're doing now even with keyboard shortcut. You can, right? I, could use the, I could use the arrow keys uh -huh. to kind of bring it down a little bit, or right arrow, left arrow if I'm the color board, but I'm just gonna crush shadows a little bit. And under the color board, I, really what I do is I wanna give the old, the entire shot a more kind of a late, late warm it up, warm it up. just a little just a little bit, okay, Maybe just enough, shot. right. Yeah. Now, I've set this up on the first one. Now, I could save this as a correction under the presets, but I'm not going to. Okay. I, I wanna show you this, I've already saved keyboard shortcut so I'm moving along and I've already, I know that that particular shot, that clip, is from the same role that this later one is over here. Yes. So I don't need to have to even think about, well, is this color correction gonna work? I, I know you it already well. Know. Right. Same condition, same everything. It's from the same exact exactly. setup. Exactly. So, okay. so I'm, so I'm in the, by the way, it's a new thing with uh, 10 out of six, option clicking on the clip will select the clip and move the playhead to it. Uh, both at the same right. time, right? Now here's where my keyboard logic comes in. I know that, how many clips is this back? There's one, two, three. three. So remember, we, we had a command for yep. applying the color correction, three clips, three at its back. Control, option, so be, three. Right, control, option, three. And there and it goes. There it goes. Nice. And that's faster because you could copy paste attributes, but this is much faster. Than Way faster. That. And then and then now well, we have another keyboard, which I said was, if I, I want to test the grade against the old one. I mean, to see it before and after. This uh, control, G. Can control, control option G. G. Uh, you can toggle, you on, can and toggle it on and off. I mean, that's nice. pretty nice. nice. Yeah, you that's great. Really handy. Let's um, let's look at another one. Here's here's one where you could see it. If I, if I select it and hit uh, control option G, I just want you to see, look at the before, Yeah. look at the after. You yep. can, I mean, it's just a handy command. Now, this clip here has, I'm, gonna, I'm just option click to move the playhead and select it. And this this clip is, suffers from the fact that it's got a lot of green in it. Let's, now, let's just turn off skimming so it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, so. And so this edit right here is two clips back. So I can just now, on the, with this clip, I can, with it selected, I can hit control option, option two. Two, and just like that, oh, boom. Now it's got a little bit too much red in the shadows, which which is okay because I can actually go into you know the color board, and I can I can get the shadow and I can start you know I can put you know put some of the neutralize some of the red in the shadows just using the shadow puck. Yeah, because this this is a different shot. It's a different right. shot, but okay. it gets me in the ball. It gets me in the ballpark, right. right. and I don't have to start from scratch right. every yeah. single You're just time. You're almost exactly. There already. So yeah, I'm almost there. So point is. With these few simple keyboard commands, mm -hmm. I can move through an edit like this, fairly short order, apply um, apply the, the color grade, apply the correction, make my changes and move on. And I don't have to buy a red filter or break my housing to get it to look right. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's nice. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. If people want to learn more about color correcting in Final Cut Pro or Then anything, they should buy Da Vinci Resolve Core Training. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, no. I, that's, we don't have a we, we have a basic color correction in our, in our Apple Pro. Yeah, we cover it in the Pro we, yeah, right. right. It's right. it's uh, there's. I'm still wrestling whether to do a whole tutorial on it because it's yeah. fairly straightforward. Yeah. Um, maybe a cookbook will do. You email yeah. us say that would be a really cool thing to do a cookbook. But but yeah.
Okay, right. but if you do want to go to the next stage beyond what's possible in Final Cut Pro 10, there's the DaVinci training. DaVinci, DaVinci yeah. Resolve. Which has an incredible price for the HD version, yeah. which is pretty inexpensive. Yeah, 12 hours of training. Yeah, well, Take that's, that's what it costs you. It costs you 12 <laughs> hours of training, but the, the, the application itself is free yeah. in a light version, so, yep. you know, use that money you would have bought it to get some training on it. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you, Steve. Thanks, Thank Mark. you for watching MacBreak Studio.